Hello everybody, this is Mr. Zenith. Welcome back to Age of Empires DS. It is time for the final chapter of Minamoto Yoshitsune, Mongol Invasion. Yoshitsune must organize a defense against the rampaging Mongol hordes intent on conquering Japan. In 1281, a new threat came to Japan. The Mongols, led by Kublai Khan, had their eyes on Japan, only one of one of the only nearby places that had yet to been that had not yet been conquered. The Carbingers of Doom, the Mongols' sails, appeared on the horizon off the Bay of Hakata. The nomads came with fire and arrow, and no culture had yet to withstand their wrath. If anyone could stop them, it was Minamoto Yoshitsune. Master, the great Mongol horde is approaching my ship as feared. They are most certainly envious of the glory of our great temple is brought to this land. Command us, Master! Okay, Temple Wonder must not be destroyed, defeat the Mongol invaders, defeat Kublai Khan, build 20 farms, fortify the region with 8 towers. So, 20 farms and 8 towers, that's... Um, so all of these things, all of these mills. That's what Empire of you like. I already have a max town center, so I need... Towers on every single town center. Uh, it's where possible. That's a lot of towers. I guess I shouldn't rush to make them. What's my empire review like? I have 8 units, I could build up to 25. Um, researches, I am in the castle age. Uh, plus the food income. Cheaper units. I do have a lot of abilities, especially let's see cheaper horses, monks with more defense. This is an interesting. <laughs> it's an interesting blend of abilities I have. Actually, if I cancel that research, I get the full refund. Good. Okay. Build a mill. Build a mine. What else can I do? A castle over here. Forget where they drop their units. I don't have nearly enough food to do what I need to. I forget if they drop them in the center or if they drop them closer to my castle. Either way, no sense in using those abilities. Keep going. Anyway, if you're watching this live, then... Well, live. <laughs> if you're watching this when I'm first posting it, you'll notice that this is... I have been doing daily uploads for several... Several weeks at this point. So far, I'd say it's been going pretty well. I don't feel like I've gotten as many subscribers from it as I would have liked, but the views and view uh, hours have definitely been increasing the more that I post, the more that I do this, which is which is very nice. I, I will admit, it is very nice. This is going to be one of these interesting times where I end up having more food than... or more gold than food. So let's get some heavy... Okay, so I'm in the Imperial Age, but I have all the Castle Age technologies. Hmm. Yeah, I'm getting a lot more gold than food. Return. Well, I guess that means it's probably monks as my best choice. And we try our best with moving around over here or something. Okay. Let's see how this goes. Kublikan, where are you landing? All the way over there. Brilliant. That's a lot of units. I've ignored this in the little island for too long. The temple is an abomination. Burn it to the ground and take this land for your Khan. 
At least they don't get to move and attack at the same turn. Okay. That's very bad for me. Play- You get- You one-shot my monks? Monks are impossible to one-shot! How did you one-shot them? Okay, this is a problem. This is definitely a problem. Okay... Scorpions... How much more expensive are double-handers? Um... Actually, pikemen might do pretty well considering these are cavaliers. Let's hide back here to build our farms. I don't think building a... Another monk is a good idea. More farms. Build more farms. Continue unit production. I can't build a mine. So, another mill it is. And these heavy horse archers are going to take a year and a day to move over. Wonderful. So wait, I have cheaper horse units, but I don't start with a stable? I decided that was a good idea. <laughs> okay, okay, this is weird. Now the ship approaches, the horde is an endless as the waves of the sea. This long tsunami will surely lay waste to our lands. Yeah, there go my farms, there go my mills, there go my villagers, there go my scorpions, there go my samurai, there goes everything. Yeah, this is... this is really bad. One ten, one ninety five. So a damaged mine does provide less income. Good to know. Didn't consider that before. That is really good to know. Okay. Where to move? Because I want to attack. I want to build off all of these things. Pikemen, scorpions, elite monks, more villagers. You can't possibly kill them all. I'm gonna have to get back up there and finish building those farms. Also, they're probably gonna attack me down here, so elite samurai. this income as much as we possibly can. Because this is rough. This is certainly rough. Here come these ships. They move 20 tiles. A turn. Okay, yep, there go my villagers as expected. Planes charge. Oh, they really don't want me to have scorpions, do they? Okay, let's see if my conversion works on anything. Okay, so Manga I have first strike. Okay, I got their long swordsman. It's something. First strike means what? Three HP Cavaliers dealt twenty nine percent damage to my scorpions. What? That doesn't seem right at all. Does not seem right at all. First strike means 
no matter what I attack them with, they get the first strike. Funny how that works. So long as I, my unit is in range, is within their attack range, they attack first. It's really bad for me. Okay. Let's boost my samurai's attack and defense because I still have two regular samurai that should be elite samurai, but they aren't. And that will allow me to move forward and not immediately die. Hopefully. Farm, farm, farm. The more farms I can build, the more... Oh, uh, what was I going to say? The more farms I can build, the more uh, income I'll have to be able to build real units. Oh, I still can't build an elite samurai? That's unfortunate. Okay, more heavy horse archers. I know you're not Mangadai, but you're the best I have in a pinch. Okay. Publicon Day 5. This is actually a pretty challenging mission. Oh, and here they are. I had forgotten where they were going to land. Turns out they land right here with a massive army. My goodness. This is just unfair. Yep, and they're defeating my monks. They're killing my villagers. They're destroying my town center. And this mill over here. Farms are no match for them. Neither is that town center. Oh, camels. This is... I feel like I might need to restart this mission, let's be real. I need to prepare for that very first landing so much better. Because that is such a painful landing. Okay, Mango do I get first strike? But I have a hero unit. Ah, it's still so much damage. Okay, let's do what we can to the two handed swordsman. Oh, I think those are the bigger threats anyway. Get some skirmishers, they'll be able to fight a little more evenly. Hide my villagers. And move them forward. To be able to do something. I didn't know where they were gonna land, so I moved my samurai in a very bad position. Elite samurai are kinda my only option right now to get out of this mess. Okay. <laughs> Mangu die do die to siege weapons, so that's kinda all I got. The siege weapons and monks to convert. I hate how good Mangu die are. Not good. I can't really do much to them. Okay, so that's the end of that army. Just that Mangadai and their siege weapons. Now it's time to really worry about this one. I should have built more buildings. I didn't have any money though. Like, what am I supposed to do? Double-handers, maybe? More monks? Hope for lucky conversions? Yeah, let's go double-handers. More villagers up here to help out with the awfulness that's about to ensue. I'm probably gonna lose my hero unit. I'm probably just gonna die this turn. 
Okay. Boat number three is approaching. Just when you think... Just when you think you are starting to get a hold on things. Boat number three Holding comes in. in. Oh hey, Elite Mango Die, don't completely roll over me with everything I do. Only most of the things I do. Okay, that town center's falling, that mill's destroyed, those camels kill my archers. Uh, these battering rams don't seem to really know what they're doing, that's good for me. Honors moving forward. Okay, if if two honors attack my hero unit, my hero unit is dead, so I can't really afford to let that happen. So I'm just gonna sacrifice the mine. And yeah. So strong. Impressively strong. See what damage I can do to their onagers. Okay, converted. Some healing. Doppelhanders surely will be better against the Manga Dai. Yeah, because apparently pikemen suck against archers. Even in this game. Who knew? Okay, and I know that puts my monks in a weird situation. Let's move them down. Scorpions move up. If they want to take out my scorpions, they're going to have to commit to it because all they have up here are... Uh, Mangadai. Take down these battering rams. This samurai can't do much of anything else anyway. And begin moving the rest of my army down towards towards the wonder, which is gonna be in trouble. Okay, planes, 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 planes. Had to double check all the squares. Okay. What do we got down here? How do we survive this crap down here? That's the big question. I think we attack the camels like that. If we can take down at least one of these units, that'll be good. No skirmishers, they seem to be pretty useful here. We can do an attack. What are you leaving them at? 12? I can probably kill these camels with my villagers, and my villagers are sacrificial. But you know what? That's okay. Sometimes you just gotta, gotta take the L to win the better W. Oh, speaking of a better W, a better unit down here than my elite samurai. Okay, we have a camel, two hand, and manga die down here. We have a two handed camel over here, and we have all the onagers and the monk over here. Okay. More doppelhanders, they seem pretty good. Reached unit cap. Interesting. I didn't think I I didn't think I'd survive long enough to reach a unit cap. Okay, ship is gone. Another ship is coming in. They may or may not land next turn. They have the capability, it's only if they decide to, really. Okay, yes, they're attacking the scorpions. Attacking Minamoto, that's fine. Okay, camels against uh, samurai. Samurai win every time. Look like they're more interested in taking down my farms than they are actually attacking the wonder, which is good news for me because I really don't want them to attack that wonder. Oh, I could build a castle down here. Maybe I should build a castle more centrally, though. Maybe we should just keep building these towers. I need to get them up anyway. No, let's let's build my mills back up. 
I can build three units this, this turn. Let's make the most out of the units I can build. I'm making sure I make good units. Okay, you can move all the way over here and heal. Good. Look, we fire, but they have first strike, so they fire first. That's so stupid. They get first strike. He heal up. Okay, attack the camels with pikemen. Seems like a pretty good idea to me. What we got down here? Okay, I want to build towers and I want to repair here. And I also I want to do so many different things right now. Attack the camels. I need to take down these Mangadai with Samurai because it's the only thing that won't really die immediately. There we go. Back in the university, attack the two added swords. Let's build some towers. More heavy horse archers, I think we're stabilized enough to afford them. More samurai, obviously. And I think it's time to actually research that heavy plow that I've been meaning to. Yeah, that seems good. That seems good. Move all our units down here. Uh, except we don't want to move too many, because we... I don't know where that ship is going to land. Either way, that seems like a decent setup for now. And I can heal this double lander. Who else? Villager up here. Okay. Build. Nothing more. Okay. We're stabilizing, we're doing okay. Uh, the ship is landing central. Okay, central to the right. Okay, elite Mangodai, heavy camels, trebuchets, champions, siege rams, and Kublai Khan. This temple still stands? How can such an insignificant tribe hold against my might? We must destroy their temple and break these people. So this is the final... The final landing. We need to survive this final landing, and then we'll be okay. But we also need to get all our farms and towers up, and we don't have much time to do that anymore. Okay, so, where are you going? All your Mangadai and monks and champions and trebuchets. Where are you going? <laughs> At least it's only three shipfuls of units. I guess that's because that's why it's, you know, an easy mode. Or easy campaign, air quotes. Okay, heavy plow is complete. Can I convert these onagers? Not that one. A melee conversion is slightly more powerful of a chance. Not that one either. Okay. Okay, got it. Nice. Okay, let's park that over here. What else can we do? Attack from over here. That might get a kill. Okay, it doesn't, but then this will get the kill. Okay, on one hand. horribly. On the other hand, I'm not losing horribly. On one hand, I'm very limited in what I can do. On the other hand, I'm stabilizing. I need to get these towers up so fast. All the towers and all the farms.
Ouch. You can move to the mine. Oh. Can you take him down? You can't. On the mountain, you can take him down. Okay. Build the tower. Okay, I can't attack the Mangodai. I will die if I do that. Okay, attacking the camels is not much better. At least I don't immediately die from doing so. Set up a defensive position. Doppelhanders. Let's go. Okay, villagers, I need you. Get over there and finish those mills. And build more farms. But I've reached the unit cap. That's not great. All my conversions. Okay. What else? Oh yeah, I have more samurai. Take down those. Any more researches I can do. Okay, 250. No, just just not enough. Even if I did, I would have to trade. Okay, Kublai Khan, where are we going? Honagers, great. Oh yeah, I can skip this. Their onagers destroy my onagers, which are really their onagers. Okay, my villagers are dead. There is no stopping their laser focus on killing villagers. Okay. You know, if that's the way they want to play it, that's the way they want to play it. Laser focus on my villagers, my goodness. I really don't want me to get these bonus objectives. Okay. <laughs> Getting these monks and being able to pass on a couple conversion rolls has been vital to my success here. And they just converted uh, my stuff back to them. Okay, what can we do? First, let's check the Empire Review. Can I build units? Yes, I can. I need to build villagers. I need to build villagers. I need to build everything down here. Because they, like I said, are laser focused on my units down here. Kill as many as I can. Maybe, just maybe, come out of this okay. Okay, um... Healing is a better use of my time. Yes, it is. Because I can then attack their camels with these onagers. Attack over here. Just like that, no more onagers. Almost. Should we convert these camels? Yes, I can! Nice! That's a good roll. Good roll on that conversion. Okay. Let's batter down some of these siege rams. Attack these monks. This is the plays we gotta do. Attack here, and heal up here, because you can't really do anything else. Getting close to success, um, at least on this side. The other side, oh, the other side's gonna still take some work. 
24 or 25. Well, I can build one thing down here, and I think it's going to be more dual commanders. Another farm. Okay, I have four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve farms, assuming all the ones that are currently successfully built survive to see the end of the turn. Do I have more infantry units? Do I have more mounted? I think I have more infantry units. Yeah, I think my infantry defenses is, is what I want to focus on right now. Kublai Khan, day 10. How badly do I lose this town center? Let's find out. Okay, Kublai Khan standing back. He's standing back. He's threatening, but he's standing back. Okay, Doppelkanders are dead, but I've stopped their trebuchets in the meantime. They're racing that mill down. Horse archers. Okay, there's the elite samurai. There goes the half-built farm. There go those. Oh, those villagers survived. Okay, elite monks failed their conversion. Champions moving around. Oh, that elite monk didn't try to do anything. Cool. Reclaim these farms. We're back to full production. Okay, so that's 14 farms. Where are you? That's fine. Move back in. What, what am I doing over here? What I'm doing is attacking these camels, attacking these mangadai. Okay, at the very least, okay, I think that armor actually is helping quite a bit. Can't kill mangadai, but you can kill injured camels. That's good, that's progress. Okay, here on this half built tower, I can stand, I can fight. First strike absolutely wrecks me. Um, do I want more skirmishers? I think I want more samurai, actually. Yeah. Okay, who else? Onagers over here. Piking can only attack his monks, so let's attack him. Okay, attack over here. Take down these monks once and for all. I don't want to merge those units, I just want to keep moving forward. Camels, what can camels do against Kublai Khan? Greatest question of our age. Okay, mm, probably should have buffed my defense, considering where I'm at and where I'm headed. Oh, and considering that you can just get me there right away. Okay, and no more healing, that's fine. Attack over here. Okay, I'm going to have 14, 15, 16, 17. I think I need this mill down here. But once I have that mill, this is going to look a whole lot better for me. Or at least one of those mills. Yeah. Meanwhile, 
all these I villagers can get the heck out of here. I don't think I have any research that I can do meaningfully with 300 gold. Okay. What are you going to do with your mango die? How many units are you going to destroy? There's one. There's two. There's three mango die attacks. Four. Five. Okay, five mango die. One set of siege rams. Uh, two sets of champions still. Two trebuchets. And their hero units. Defeat the Mongol invaders. Okay, so if I defeat Kublai Khan, I get bonus points. I think that then implies that he will retreat after a certain number of turns if I don't. Yeah, take that first strike. How do you like a little bit of scarce horses? Where is the rest of my fleet? Lost to the Raging Sea, Spirits and Spire gets me. I must retreat from this haunted land for now. Oh, shoot. He runs away. I can't kill him. I can't stop him. I, th I think I lost. Because I can't kill him. Oh, no. No. Oh, well. So this might be only a two-star victory. All these other things, they're just bonus points anyway that I don't even need, because once I've finished all the campaigns once, I should have more than enough to buy all the extra maps. Still sucks though. When it's like you think you're so close, you think you're right there, and then it just gets shown to you. It's like, nope, nope, you're actually not winning. Healing and moving forward. Maybe we can bait them out over here. Okay, villagers over here. Villagers to the left. Farm, farm, farm. Tower, tower, tower. off a couple more mango die, that'll be good. Okay. In that case, the arbalists and more villagers. Because they are going to attack my villagers, but that will also mean that my arbalists can attack them. food to get gold, then I can... Oh, I need a blast furnace. Yeah. Let's research that blast furnace. Just barely enough. But you know what? Just barely enough is still enough. Okay, heavy camels. Still got Mangadai. Still got so many Mangadai. Trebuchet's attacking my pikemen. Mangadai attacking samurai. Heavy camels attacking where they can. Champions, champions. Monks. Yeah, he retreats onto the boat. The boat gets away. Kublai Khan has escaped. He must live in the fear of further invasions by Mongol menace. Yep, don't get... I don't get that gold. Sucks. Why did I attack there instead of attacking 
champions? I don't know. I'm just not really thinking today. I'm just playing with my heart instead of with my brain. Okay, let's attack a full strength elite Mangudai. That is a very solid amount of damage to do. into the mountains, I can attack without fear of prize. There's only a 2 HP unit. But still, 2 HP units. Yeah, a little bit of damage can add up. Cut them down at right point to my leash. Open the path to heal the samurai to take down their camels. Finish building this, finish building this. I hate still cute that he got away. It's just so dumb. Retreat AI. Ugh. Not even once. Yes, with my buffs, I am now far stronger than they are. With those researches. Look. I can even do a really dumb move and attack my monks into champions, and they're fine. Everything's fine here. Attack those champions. Um, you can back up. Poke those trebuchets, why not? Okay, that's all the tower. Oh, I didn't need to finish them, I just need to start them, build them. Good to know. Okay, so they moved out of my range. I guess they're all dead now. Okay, farms. So I can get you back to a road the sooner you can build more useful stuff and help me get maybe two stars. It's not a three-star run anymore, but two stars isn't bad, right? Eh, it still feels pretty bad. Arbalist. They're attacking into my Arbalist. They're just, like, killing their own units now. Okay. What can we do? We can build on this here. We can send you down here. I don't know what else we can do. I mean, I know exactly what we can do to make sure that we get our well-deserved two stars. Have you heard of Donaling in our church? No? Would you like to learn? No units within attacking range. This thing is now effectively pointless. Build a farm. I'm so close to being able to build those last farms. And we just end the day. Oh, I guess they can still attack my scorpions. Still, oh, they're still in three range. Whoops, that's my bad. And we build the mill, we build the farms, and we hope that I think if it counts the farms the same way it counts the towers, then we're good? Yes, build 20 farms. Okay. We did not finish off Kublai Khan. Doesn't matter. Still won the mission. No enemy may threaten our temple or our people. Did not defeat Kublai Khan. Two stars. 
Yoshitsune's stalwart defense brought the Jap bought the Japanese time, and like the hand of fate that earned time had brought a divine wind to destroy the Mongol ships at anchor. The invasion was ruined. The Japanese would remain sovereign and would not collapse before the rampaging Mongols. In truth, the Mongol invasion of Japan was well after Yoshitsune's lifetime, but his genius military spirit lived on and may well have had an effect on, Japan, on Japan's defenses. Yoshitsune's own story took a tragic turn after the defeat of the Taira at the Genpei War. The rift with his brother, the Shokin Yoritomo, never healed, but instead grew worse. Eventually, Yoritomo saw Yoshitsune as a threat and ordered his death. Yoshitsune escaped to the far corners of Japan, but was eventually found. He committed seppuku to prevent disgrace. He is remembered as an unequaled general and a peerless legend. Some tales, though, say that Yoshitsune escaped his pursuers, and say he merged a time later on the Asian mainland, and went on to earn many victories under a different but well-known name, Genghis Khan. But that's a story for another time. Join us next time as we begin to tackle the five-mission Genghis Khan campaign. Medium difficulty. The last one was easy. We'll see how much harder it can get. Till next time, this is Mithril Zenith signing out.